with a flurry of mid-size three-road SUVs on the market today, is the 2024 Honda Pilot Elite for you? I don't know, let's find out. Welcome back to Sparkplug TV. My name is Chris and I do car reviews for literally everybody, not just car enthusiasts. Before I begin today's video, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Johnson Honda of Stewart. Link in the description somewhere below. Yes, today I am here with the 2024 Honda Pilot Elite. Now, this thing has been around for multiple generations and it is actually not one of the highest ranking in terms of sales, but it does seem to be pretty popular because I do see it on the road pretty often. Starting around $38,000 and going all the way up into $53,000, which is this Elite model, you do also have the new Trail Sport Edition as well. It offers a little bit more ground clearance and some skid plates as well as all-wheel drive as opposed to the typical front-wheel drive drivetrain. Sorry, there's like a roller coaster over there. The Honda Pilot only comes with one powertrain available, a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6 that is then tied to a 10 speed automatic transmission. That's a lot of gears. However, it does have a towing capacity of 3,500 pounds with the front wheel drive drivetrain or 5,000 pounds with the all wheel drive drivetrain. You are able to tow at least a small camper trailer and a small boat. So it depends on what you need, you know? Okay, let's talk back end and design. I personally am not a fan of mid-sized SUVs, but this one is looking a little bit better than the outgoing generation, which the last year was for the 22 models. Now this generation, which is the 24 model, does look a little bit more SUV-like, and I actually appreciate the way that they have redesigned not only the front end with its more angular, squared off front end, and especially with the grille looking a little bit more masculine, a little bit more uh, in your face, a little bit more aggressive. And I think that's the modern design language in the auto industry overall. But the back end got the biggest upgrade, especially with this bar that is not a light bar, but it is a bar in general. Um, and it is blacked out and it's got Pilot scribed all the way through the back. The previous generation had this kind of L, kind of Lexus looking shape to it. Not Lexus, but it had like this L look to the tail lamps, uh, but these do not have that. It does also come with an automatic lift gate. And when the three row is down, it does have a pretty sizable trunk access. Even with the three row up, it's got a pretty decent grocery getter size tailgate. Now hopefully, oh wow, and it's got a humongous storage compartment down here as well. Now at this price point, I would like to see some automatic folding chairs. At this point, it just looks like they are the straps that you, Kind of push forward. Hi, welcome to the interior of the 2024 Honda Pilot Elite. Now, this does come with a bevy of features, one of them including the Honda Sense safety system, which is basically the lane keep assist, the lane follow assist, the adaptive cruise control, as well as the frontal crash mitigation and the blind spot monitoring system. Now, from first impressions on the interior, I do like it. I like this brown colored leather. I like this kind of digitized kind of look that they've got on these door panels. It does not follow suit in the center console. There's just these piano gloss black features. Now, it does have a tri-zone automatic climate control system and a nine inch infotainment system. Nine inches. I know that some people are pretty much okay with the, the smaller screens, but I am surprised in a segment where this is dominated by 12 inch, you know, or larger touchscreen infotainment systems, I am very surprised that this has only nine inches. It does have downhill descent control, um, as well as different drive modes. It does come with a wireless charging pad that I would hope would work for your phone. It's got a pretty big center console. The steering wheel is pretty nicely laid out. I do like the fact that the heated steering wheel button is in the center of the steering wheel itself. It does also come with the 360 degree camera, um, as well as the 12 speaker premium Bose sound system. Now, I mean, again, like these chairs are pretty comfortable. I really like the way that they're designed and laid out, but I do kind of wish that there was a bigger mm, infotainment system. So let's go to the back and see what the, what's going on in the back end. Hi, welcome to the back seat. Now, what I can tell you about the back seat from first glance is that it does have 
a couple of options that you can get into the back seat. There was a button that I just pressed that released that. The button is also on the back of the chair as well. And thankfully these are on sliding rails so that if you do have a child seat or a car seat, um, it is easily accessible into the third row without having to finagle said car seat. Now, if I get into the second row, um, you know, it's okay. I think that this is pushed back a little bit, so I don't have the most amount of room. If I do get in the driver's side, I do have a little bit more room, but that's because this one is pushed up just a little bit more. Don't want too close up of a shot. Now it does have a, as I mentioned in the front, a tri-zone automatic climate control system, and the second row seats, except for the middle one, are heated as well. Now let's see if I fit in the third row. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and release this second row seat. And so far so good in terms of easy access. So let's go ahead and lock her back. Now, am I the most comfortable? No. The end, that's the video, just kidding. Um, yeah, you know, I don't know, it's not terrible. I am surprised at how much room I have. My knees are very much in the second row seat. Um, but I am, I am genuinely surprised that I am decently comfortable back here. Um, there is some vents back here. There's a USB-A port back here as well. Um, so that each side doesn't have to fight over the USB ports. But yeah, other than that, that's the video. I hope to get one of these so that I can test drive it soon, but so far from just first glance, I mean, it's a pretty decent option. I don't think that it is quite up there in terms of, you know, luxuriousness as much as like maybe say the Telluride or the Palisade, um, you know, or even the Jeep Grand Cherokee, which is the highest selling one in this segment. Um, but I think it's definitely up there and I can see why there, this is next to, you know, the, the Passport, one of the biggest selling Hondas that they have. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Johnson Honda of Stewart for sponsoring today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey Sparks, thanks for watching today's video. Do you want more Spark Plug TV content? Then you can choose one of these three options. Right over here. The middle button is to subscribe to my channel, so please do that. Right over here. These three. I can't see them in real life, but they're right here. <laughs>